there. My name is Lindsay Sutton. I am a yoga therapist and I am on the board of directors for the Hawaii Parkinson Association. This video and the other videos that are here as well on the YouTube channel are meant to be for your home practice and um, are practices that do various things from breathing, from moving the body in different planes of motion, ranges of motion, um, to just really uh, helping the body reconnect right brain, left brain, and find some inner balance as well as some outer balance. Today's video, uh, we are, in today's video, we are going to be working on what I'll call warrior, um, chakra warrior. And it's something that I presented at some of the support groups. It's a warrior one pose where you are in a staggered offset lunge, like so, something like this. And then you would be using your hands to actually uh, place over the body at the various chakra locations while also saying the sounds, the seed sounds, for the chakra. And so what this particular move does for warrior one is that it is training the body to be in, to have a better center of gravity, to strengthen through the legs so that we have an active stance. We are on purpose keeping our feet in a particular place. We're activating through the arches of the feet by gently pressing into the heels and the balls of the feet. We pull the toes up just slightly enough, not off the ground completely, but enough that it helps through um, the activation through the uh, arch of the foot on in into the inner thigh, pelvic floor, core, body area. So just to set up our stance, um, I don't have a chair with me right now. However, a chair is optional on the side of the body and it would be right here with the hand. And we would step back with, uh, our, in my case, my left foot. So if we've got our right hand on the chair, we'll step back the left foot into a staggered stance, lunge, not a big lunge. Here's the difference. This was a pretty short step back, maybe about two to three feet. Ruler feet, not shoe feet, ruler feet, versus a big lunge, which would look something like that. That's a really big lunge. And so we're working with a shorter stance, warrior lunge, that's offset. So if I face the camera head on, this is more of a narrow stance, is a wider stance and so just find where the body's center of gravity is at its most optimal right we want to just feel centered and tall so if there's a chair here please place the hand here if you're working with um, your hands without the chair the hands can come down and then just do begin to build your posture from the ground up activate through the feet the heel and the ball of the foot press into the ground for both feet the front knee slightly bends you feel a little bit springy as if you could almost take a step. Okay. The back foot is planted, the back leg is long. Out of the hips, we lift the body, we rotate the arm, elbow crease forward, palms forward, rolling the shoulders back and down. And then with the head, we do as much as we can, this little lift back and press through the space between the ears on the back of the head. So we just want to lift back and reach, leveling the chin out, and then reaching from the crown or top of the so before we do the chakra practice, we'll go ahead and do some arm swings so that we warm up the body. This is something that's in the other videos, so it's a nice practice because it helps right brain, left brain connect, reaching the left arm front, the right arm back, bring the arms overhead. Now the right arm is front, the left arm is back, and the arms down and around. So it's a pretty big arm circle. Elbows can be bent, and you can do it in a way that's not quite as high and overreaching, or you can do it all the way overhead. Left arm front arm back, right arm front, left arm back. So it's just swinging up, cross, down, and around. Up, cross, down, and around. A few times just like that. And then the next time we get to the top overhead stance, let's switch that direction so that now we'll bring the other hand, right arm front, left arm back, left arm front, right arm back. And you're just switching. And the only reason we're doing that is just to get a sense of connection. Can our brain make that switch? And so it might take a few breaths, a few movements. Any effort towards this movement counts. So any effort, a smile, without frustration, and then your own body's movement again. So I'm making really big arm circles. This is wonderful if we have some shoulder tension when, this, when we do this. Just bend the elbows, 
and make them less um, kind of open and big, and you can just kind of go through your own body's range of motion. Then you come back down to the side, interlace the fingers. In yoga, we use this gesture as a gesture of unshakable trust. It's a nice gesture of the hands. And what we're going to do is place the hands behind the head. And then here behind the head, gently press the space that's between the ears and the back of the head into the hands and gently press the hands into the head so that it's about a 10%, 15% press. And just do that for a few inhales and a few exhales. focused and soft rather than jaw clenched and eyes strained with a frown so just kind of relax the face make funny faces at yourself and then bring the hands down and then from here we'll go ahead and use our chakra seat sounds for each chakra while we're in a staggered stance the chakras are first chakra root center really tailbone area um, so root center belly center top belly heart throat brow Crown center. So that's seven. Um, if you're familiar with yoga and you've learned some other chakras as well, there are other chakras. These are the seven main ones. The sounds that goes that go with these is lum, vum, rum, yum, hum, om, silence. Okay. So what we'll do is a practice where we switch the hands that we're moving up the body with. So let's start with our left hand. Lum. Bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Right hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Left hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Right hand. Lum, bum, Ram, yum, hum, om. Hands together at the top of the head. Go ahead, do a little push into the top of the head. If you have the chair with you, in that instance, you can grab a hold of the chair. If you'd like to do this without the chair, this is okay too. So just press gently into the top of the head with whatever hand is on the head and step forward, big step. And replace the foot and release the hand. Step back with our right foot. So if you have a chair, just turn around the other way. Or you can move the chair to the other side. Turning around the other way is probably easier. So go ahead and step back with the right foot. If we have the chair, the left hand would be on the chair to help us step back. And then steady out. Find the squat, um, the lunge position. Again, short stance. So here's a really huge stance. We're not going there. We're taking this short stance back so that both feet can be flat on the ground. The right foot is somewhat facing forward, probably a little bit turned out. It's comfortable. It's your body stance. The front leg is facing forward with the knee, and the front knee, left knee is bent. The right leg is straight. Bring the arms down to the side. Press into the ball of the foot and the heel for each of the feet, and then lift the toes so slightly that they're just not scrunching into the mat. This in itself is a practice of balance. Take a few breaths here to settle and find your posture. Once again, lifting out of the hips, elbow creases and palms roll forward while the shoulders roll down and back. We lift back into that space between the ears and the back of the head. Chin stays level while we lift up out of the top of the head as well. And then swing the arms. Let's reach your right arm front, left arm back, up, down, and around. Down, around, up, down, around, right forward, left back, right back, left forward, right? So it's switching, opposite arm circles. And then reach up, and then send the left arm forward, the right arm back, reach down and around. posture for a moment, interlace fingers, unshakable trust. So if we tend to interlace our fingers one way, go 
Why don't you interlace them the other way? Place the hand this time to the top of the head. And reach into the top of the head. Pressing the hands upwards, or pressing the head upwards, pressing the, head, the hands downwards. A few breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Bring the hands down by our side. Of course, if you're using a chair, probably it's just one hand that we're reaching and we're holding onto the chair for balance. It's always possible to have different options for our own range of motion. So we'll start with our chakra warrior. Again, the seed sounds are lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. So we'll start, let's start with left hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Right hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. And left hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Right hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Left hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Right hand. Lum, bum, rum, yum, hum, om. Hands pressed together on the heads. Big breath in. Steady, slow, lifting the right leg to step forward. Release the hands down. And then just do some slow knee bend down and up. Down and up. Down and up. And this is just to reset the hips in um, kind of a symmetrical, where we're both together standing forward rather than a Side to side asymmetrical pose. So the arms cross the body. And that concludes our practice for warrior pose with chakras, with a little head press and posture practice and opposite arm circling. So like I did lose track of the hands, it's okay if we lose track of the hands. Our effort towards that counts. It's right brain, left brain integration, vocalization, practicing using our strength inside to get air and sound out. It is balance practice because we're in a staggered stance and so we're working with center of gravity. Use this video as uh, often as you want and certainly always email um, our info at hawaiiparkinsons.org um, to ask any questions about that.